Hey everybody, today I have my new Whirlpool washing machine. Well, it was bought April of 2021 and it, we're already having a problem with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can take care of the problem. The problem is, is that it is not dispensing the softener. And the way this works, it's pretty ingenious, is um, you put your softener in there. Let me go over to the sink and I'll show you. Water. So, as the machine adds water to this, it creates a siphon. And see the water level going down? And now that's how it works. So, the machine puts water into this, fills it up, and then underneath here there is a hole that creates a siphon and sucks the fabric softener down the hole that is not working so we already took the top of the machine apart to figure out how it works um and i bought a part so let's go ahead and take i'll go ahead and take the top of the machine apart and show you what i think is wrong with it okay the so first thing we're going to do is we're going to unplug the machine and we're going to go ahead and cut the water off all right water's off all right, I have to slide the machine back and take the top off. The top is held on by three screws. There is one there, one there, and one there. You take those three screws out, then the top pushes back and comes off. So let me get that done, and I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. All right, so we went ahead and top pop the top of the washer off like I said it has a screw here screw here screw here then the lid pushes back and comes off there they're quarter inch headed like sheet metal screws and then here's the top and you can see it in the front it falls in those holes and locks all right so let me go back to what we we're talking about and of why I th what is I think is wrong with this this uh, fabric softener dispenser so Here's the cold water valve right here. It has two lines that run into the top of the dispenser. One line here, one line here. So if you notice on the dispenser, the dispenser has a bleach dispenser here and the fabric softener here. This compartment in there is the same compartment. So when it puts water in to put the bleach in, I think it opens up only one part of this valve and the water can only make it to this point here, and then it fills up the bleach. But when it wants to do the fabric softener, both, both water inlets put water and flood this whole area to put the uh, water into the front part. You can see up in here how it's got holes here and holes back there, but it's the same compartment. So I think it's just a water pressure thing that does it. So what I have the feeling is I think the water valve is bad. The water valve is not opening up, letting the extra water into the dispenser to fill up the fabric softener to get it to go in the machine. So we went ahead and we bought a new cold water valve. Now I already took a look at it and made sure there was nothing stuck in here. There's nothing stuck in there. Um, there's nothing stuck in here. I already took the machine apart and cleaned this out and made sure this was all clean. It did not help. So we're going to go ahead and put the new water valve in. So there is the part number of the water valve I bought. Oh, and here, here is the, uh, the make and model of the machine in case you want to know what it is. And we do an awful lot of laundry around here, awful lot of laundry. Okay, so now that we have the water shut off, it's unplugged, we're going to go ahead and put the water valve in. Let's make sure it looks like it's the right one. Let's see. It looks like the right one. So we're going to take the water supply hose off. And we'll drape this up underneath here so it doesn't leak that's good all right so there is a screw here you take that screw out and the water valve should slide one way and come out so I did not grab a pair of pliers let me go grab a pair of pliers so I can take the two clamps off 
so I can take the two clamps off and we'll take that bolt out and we'll see how it slides out. Actually, you can see right here, see it's got a place for the bolt hole here. So this valve sits in there like this. So that screws in that hole there and this thing slides out. All right, let me get the two hoses off and get the bolt out and we'll get this switched out. All right, I got my pair of needle nose and I've pulled the clamps back. And then I've unplugged the wire connection here. What you do is you push down on this tab and it slides out and I've taken the one screw out back there. Let's go ahead and get the lines disconnected. There's the one line. There's the other line. All right, now this thing here just turns and then comes out after you take the screw out. So there's the old one. So here's the new one. The new one goes in like this. So you can see it's cut out a certain way. So now you put the new valve. In and then you turn it. Until it locks. Is it? Did I get it all the way in? No, I did not get it all the way in. I didn't think so. Let me see. Oh, I did push on hard enough. There we go. Now we're in there right. So now I can go ahead and plug the, the electrical connection back in. That's plugged in. Plug that one in. Plug that one in. There's one clamp. There's two clamps. All right, there we go. Now I put the water connection back on. And I'll get a pair of pliers to tighten that up. All right, so there is the installation of the water valve. Pretty simple. Oh, I had the screw right here. I'll have to put the screw back in. Um, and the screw just goes in that hole right there. I'll have to lean over and get the screw back in. So what we'll do then, we'll go ahead and put the top back on, plug it in. There's always laundry to do around the G household. So we'll come back and see if it has fixed the problem with the dispenser not dispensing. All right, everybody, we're doing a load of laundry, so let's take turn the light on. It only has nine minutes left, so I know it has dispensed the uh, fabric softener. Let's see if it's there, and it is not. It has drained it completely out. It is working. So there you go. On um, this one, sometimes these things crack, and they won't um, siphon the stuff out properly, but on this one here, the water valve obviously was bad, so if you have a Whirlpool front loading wash machine with that number that I showed earlier. Um, I'll give you a shot, a good shot at the front so you know what it looks like. The uh, water valve must have went bad on this one, so it wasn't putting in enough water to get to the front of the dispenser to dispense the uh, uh, fabric softener. So there you go. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner down there. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my and more videos.